What's up guys, it's Will here, back again. And today we got a video with coverage from the InArt event from San Diego. This was a separate event from San Diego Comic-Con, so they were able to show a lot more. Guys, if you like this content, make sure to like the video down below, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any news as it goes live for 1-6 scale collecting. What you're seeing here to start out is the Lord of the Rings Ring Wraith Nazgul on horse. So this is a 1-6 scale figure. It has the horse, it is a statue obviously with a horse you probably wouldn't be able to do articulation because you would have visible joints somewhere. You don't want that right so you can see the Nazgul he has a lot of die cast elements he has a die cast sword die cast armor on the legs and even on the arms from my um from my understanding here I talked to the in our team about this and that's what they were communicating to me so more info on that to come we'll see as we go uh, if you're a statue collector this is the Queen Studios one-third scale Aragorn this is incredible. It was kind of a running a joke. Uh, a lot of other collectors showed up to this event and I got to talk to them about all the collectibles and a bunch of other stuff. I was saying the whole time, I was like, that Aragorn looks so good. It looks so good. So it's one third scale. Uh, according to NR, it's probably gonna be around $3,000. The head sculpt is silicone. It's a silicone head sculpt with silicone hands and real leather, rooted hair. And the head sculpt is out of this world good. I hope that's being translated through the camera here because in person, it was incredible. It's the best head sculpt I think I've ever seen in person on a statue you it's absolutely incredible it's that good i love it i don't really collect third scale but i feel like i might end up picking this up but the price is pretty high but it is a price i'm willing to pay as captain america said so if you guys already didn't see my walking dead video from san diego, san diego comic con make sure to check that out but there is a look here at the uh norman reedus daryl dixon figure from amc is the walking dead you can see that there in an apex time case in art uses these apex time cases and i kind of want one now i know they're about 200 and some dollars a piece if you get these they look great Daryl looks fantastic. Real leather. The crossbar, I'm not sure. It's probably some sort of plastic. As you can see, Rick with the die cast revolver, the weathering on the jeans and the shirt. The hair is rooted. And of course, there you go, Negan with a real leather jacket. The bat is going to be wood, I believe. The barbed wire, I'm not sure if it's real metal or not. But this is not a rooted hair figure. It's too short for that. So it's sculpted. Michael Jackson, which was just put up for pre order on the in art website, they have a global license for it. By the way, Walking Dead should be a global license as well. Here's the Robert Pattinson Bruce Wayne. This is a uh, in art figure that is released recently. People are still waiting on theirs, but it's pretty good. A lot of stuff we have seen before, like this Aragorn, this is sculpted. Uh, that's starting to ship, so that's you know getting out there. And of course, the rooted Aragorn, the premium version, which I am working my review on, so be on the lookout for that. They also have a new 112th scale line for 112th scale collectors called Stonebrook. The pre-orders for these should be going sometime live, uh, live sometime at the end of this year. Uh, the Selena Kyle Catwoman you saw, I'm not sure some of these other ones, they're Batman universe figures. I think that's like a doomsday version of a evil Batman comic. This is Batman Who Laughs, I do know him, but these are 12th scale figures. I'm not sure about articulation uh, and things like that yet. More info to come if you're into 12th scale, but Stonebrook is going to be the company. It's a queen, it's under the Queen Studios brand, so to speak, but yeah. So we got another look at the Bruce Wayne here. This is a great figure, honestly. It surprised me when I got it in ham. Michael Jackson with a wider look. You got all the hands there. Not a ton of accessories that come with him, but apparently that was due to licensing uh, restrictions, so not a lot that you really need there anyway. Negan looks incredible. I'm gonna be dopoing that. It's not even a question. I need that Negan. It looks great. The real leather, the head sculpt looks fantastic in person. It's probably the weakest of the three AMC figures, but still really good. Uh, there's Rick Grimes. Again, I think this is the best head sculpt of the ones shown of the three so far. Uh, just the detail, especially on the boots. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. And the head sculpt just looks so much like Andrew Lincoln. It is crazy. And uh, please excuse me with my voice, by the way. I just woke up not long ago and I talked a lot to the collectors last night. Here's a better look at the Ring Wraith, the Nazgul. It looks incredible. Guys, how cool would this look? So expensive though. If you bought nine of these with the horses, and put them in one Maja case, like riding, like, you know, riding down the river like they do in Lord of the Rings trilogy, that would look so amazing. The hands, I believe, are die cast as well, but we're going to need more clarification. I held them in my own hand, and they felt very cold to the touch, and they, they definitely felt die cast. The horse is obviously in a set pose, but I'm hoping they can offer you a version with a horse that has different poses. So if you do get nine, that the horses are going to be in different poses instead of them all having that same leg up pose. That wouldn't be ideal. I do think they're going to offer them separate without the horse too. Uh, there's in art. They were answering questions. They did a Q&A with the in art team. It was fantastic to see them and have them answer questions. Uh, a lot of people asked some really good questions and, you know, they listened to feedback and stuff like that. Here's another look at the third scale Aragorn. Again, this thing is absolutely incredible. If you are a statue collector, this could be one that you definitely consider picking up if you're a Lord of the Rings fan. But again, you gotta be aware the price tag is gonna be high. This is probably gonna be, again, around 3,000 US dollars. 
Uh, we're hoping for a global license, they said, so that would be great. If they do have a global license, you could buy from them directly. If not, you're probably looking somewhere like Spec Fiction or somewhere else that you uh, purchase statues from. Just depends where you feel comfortable. For me, I'm gonna look at this. I'm hoping that NR ends up making a third scale Legolas. Uh, if so, maybe I could get both of those. But again, it is gonna be pricing and we can't have everything these days. And you know, the six scale Aragorn is pretty damn good too, but this head sculpt is just, you know, sized up. It's absolute perfection. I saw Viper uh, in our main artist working on the hair, the head artist, and he was making it look pretty damn good. So the, so the sword is not die cast, by the way, as of now, at least the sword is not die cast. You should know that, but it'd probably be too heavy otherwise. So there's the Norman Reedus Daryl Dixon figure again. That head sculpt is incredible. I know I saw a lot of the comments, people saying that was their favorite head sculpt. I don't honestly have any uh, argument against that. It's fantastic. It's really, really good. I like the Rick the best, but again, Rick is my favorite character from The Walking Dead. So that could be why that's the case. But this Rick looks absolutely awesome. And excuse any shaky footage, guys. I uh, try to get the best footage I can, the highest quality. So, you know, we made the best of it. But again, the Negan's gonna be fantastic. I think AMC Walking Dead is gonna be a big hit for Inart. And I sense a lot of excitement and I'm glad because 3-0 did some good figures, but they're not great figures. And these look pretty great as far as prototypes. Michael Jackson, again, Bruce Wayne. Now guys, check out my Walking Dead video I posted on my channel for a closer look at the Walking Dead figures. Uh, a lot of this stuff, I'm hoping in our next time we'll show some figures we haven't seen as much before, but I guess only time will tell. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya. Bye.